okay so this is the hp zbook studio g8 it's basically the world's most powerful mobile workstation of its size so you can see it's like really really powerful so i am a software engineer i also basically do um i also play a lot of games i also do video editing for youtube videos and stuff like that right so i kind of want a really powerful workstation which works in almost all the scenarios right so now when it come to things like this if you put too powerful of a thing you have too powerful of a processor or a gpu what about it's going to be expensive because you need to really miniaturize it right to put it in the laptop plus heat dissipation is one of the biggest challenge so to show you some important things here it has custom vapor chamber cooling advanced thermals and fans increases air flow to keep your components cool and running at max performance the the quiet keyboard comes with a keyboard layout for creative to make your device transition even easier so basically really really good thermal cooling and optimization along with extremely powerful it has like the best of everything it's basically let's say you are willing to spend money and you want the best device available uh, in my case i spend my computer i have a desktop but as, as i have traveled a little bit more i have noticed that i spend a lot of time on my pc so or you know a laptop so it makes sense to buy something that is powerful because its amount of time i use it makes it really really worth it right now this is not something that let's say you just want to play games you don't have to really go with something like you might there are more powerful different ones for just gaming this is like super expensive but it has everything right so if you have a use case like me this is something that is great and very very perfect But if you just want something one scenario, then you can always get something cheaper, which has that really really optimized, and other things are not optimized for it. So I'm going to unbox it, I'm going to use it, and I'm going to show you the whole performance and everything. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to un unbox it now. Okay, so unboxing it. Uh, it is very nicely packed. You can see how well it was packed, which means that you are not worried about you know it coming to your home. You are stuck. You want to get your work done, and then you realize, okay, it's damaged, and you need to return it. So, like, really, really nice, right? It also has this voucher code uh, to get all the Adobe, uh, you know, Photoshop and other things so that you can do. You can use it like a workstation, right, to make videos, images, editing, everything. So, it has a nice voucher code for you. Okay, so now I'm going to open it. You can see with the how much powerful it is. It is extremely slim as well. So let me just unbox it and remove it. Okay, so I just want you to see how slim it is, right? And with all the power, it's it's really amazing. This is where like all the heat stuff is going to come out. Um, this is your headphone jack. This is your USB input. Um, this is like a lock of some kind. This is the charging port. This is the SD card. So it also has the SD card in here. Okay, I'm going to open it next and see. Um, okay, two USB C ports, right? Which is really really nice because almost all devices today have USB C in it. Okay, so this port here, which is like a lock icon on it, this is a security cable slot, right? This I have already mentioned. This is the USB port. I'm turning it around. This is the memory card slot. Um, this is a display connector HDMI port. What that means is, let's say you have another monitor, right? You want to see stuff on a bigger screen. So you can just connect the connector here. and connect the other one to your display and you will see whatever you are seeing on the laptop you will now see it on the big screen so it's a great really nice advantage these two are usb type c ports but they are basically thunder thunderbolt ports and they basically have hp sleep and charge and this is the power connector now the power connector cable it also obviously provided with this thing this is the plug and then this is the thing we are going to connect the plug to and you are going to connect this to the device So this whole thing will be connected to each other, and you can use it individually or separately. Now, once now I'm going to open it. We'll move everything aside, as you can see. Okay, this is like a nice case here. 
Okay, so now starting from here, this is the power port. Um, here there are two microphones. So that is basically dual microphones. Uh, here are the wireless antennas. That's what they mention. This whole line here, they kind of have wireless antennas here. Um, so this is the fingerprint reader. Now I know you are going to think fingerprint reader is not a big deal, but trust me, not, not all laptops come with it. And once you start using a laptop with fingerprint reader, then it becomes something that is must have. You just cannot live without it. It's just too easy and too simple and makes your life really, really easier. A very small change, but it's like really, really helpful. Um, this ability to touch pad, the windows keys, and obviously the whole keyboard. So that those are the main components, right? It is Intel Core V Pro i7. So this is the whole device. I'm going to charge it first and then I'm going to use it. So, yep. Okay, so I charged it completely and as soon as I opened it after charging it, I immediately started with, you know, it started loading and doing everything itself and it landed on the screen. So everything should be automatic. You just need to open it and wait for a few minutes. So now I basically need to select the region. I'm going to show you the complete complete process so that you know you can skip. I don't want to see a secondary layout. Okay, I'm going to connect to my uh, Wi-Fi. Okay, I'm connecting to my home Wi-Fi. Next. So you need to follow the same step as me. Notice I am using the this touchpad as a mouse. By clicking here, I'm basically touching a left, left click, right click and so on. Just press it here. You can also remove this thing here if you want to, but you know, it does not bother too much. And I'm not really using a mouse, I'm just using the touchpad. Notice this thing, circle, circle, circle. Now I'm going to let it do all the stuff. Okay, now I need to connect to a Microsoft account. So that's what I'm going to drive a Microsoft account. I'm just going to connect it. You, can, you might also need to create one. Uh, so on the account screen, there was also an option to create an offline account, which means you don't need to really connect to a Microsoft server. You can just create an offline account where you can use your PC. Now you have face recognition using the camera or fingerprint. I really like fingerprints. I'm going to go with fingerprint because even if I'm not looking at the camera, I can just quickly use my finger. So setting up my finger, touch the fingerprint. Okay, I just touch, 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 click here and there, but on this thing. I'm going to create my own pin, uh, just in case. Okay, now there are a lot of different things. For example, I, I'm not interested in giving diagnostic data. Location, I don't mind the location. Find my device. In case you lose it, find my device is really helpful. Inking and typing. I don't want to send a diagnostic data. Advertising already, I don't have any problems and tailored experience, I don't have any problem with that. You obviously can choose your own choices, but these are my choices. Um, so for me, it's going to be gaming and business and family, right? You are, might obviously want to select your own stuff and entertainment. Okay. Use your Android phone from your PC. Remind me later. I'm not interested in it right now. Okay. Next. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, what if I, if I do back? I'm going to decline this thing. No, thanks. The PC game by something I was really interested, but you know, it, I'm not, don't want to do it right now. I can do it later. Uh, sure, let's. Yes, it asked me to set up Cortana, where it's like just ask my name and stuff like that, and ask me Windows 11 or Windows 12. I'm going to say, get it. I want my new PC, I want a new version. Okay, now I'm logging into Windows 11 and basically creating the whole Windows 7 version. I'm saying hi. I'm getting everything ready for you. So I'm not doing anything, right? So the setup is very easy, it's just touching buttons, right? So it should not be like any complex stuff. Uh, this might take a minute, so don't turn off your PC, okay? 
Okay, so as soon as it did everything and it landed here, it also automatically picked up my my screenshot, my desktop background from my desktop PC because I logged into the same account. Now it's asking me to register for warranty support, which I am definitely going to do. You should always do that. Okay, now I'm going to open the control panel here. Okay, so first of all, I want you to see something, right? It is 11th gen Intel Core i7 processor. It has 32 GB of RAM, 64 bit, 64 bit operating system. Um, so basically a lot of different things that you can see here. Um, um, yeah. So overall, like... Um, uh, I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. So this is, I am playing a YouTube trailer, Jurassic World Dominion in 4K. And you can see the crystal clarity is very, very clear. The music is really nice. And, and it looks really nice and you, you love to watch it. It does not hurt your eyes in any way. And it's the clarity and everything is really amazing. Um, yep, I would definitely say this is like really perfect in every way. Um, okay, and this is how I changed it to the default wallpaper and you can see all the colors and stuff like that. It's pretty clear. Uh, overall, a great device. I'm also going to play the games on it, on this thing here. Uh, but I'm pretty confident it's going to be game. I'm like a big gamer, single player games. And I play a lot of single player games. And basically this device is really great because it's an extremely powerful graphics card. Uh, that I, uh, you can see obviously display is lighted, you can turn off, reduce or increase the volume, turn off the mic, airplane mode, Wi-Fi, obviously. Um, so obviously all the great options that you would expect with the Windows key here. Um, uh, we also tried to see the movies in, in like, you know, a little bit darkness and it was really a nice experience. We did not have any problems. Uh, so yep, yeah, really like the best in its class. That's what I would definitely suggest. Um, so if you are really, really like some kind of video editing, gaming, and it's just a multi-purpose laptop, you cannot go wrong with this thing. Once you purchase it, this will last you for at least 10 years. And it will still stay relevant and powerful. Um, there are software on a C cleaner that you can use, that you can clean it up every month. So it will always stay up to date. All you have to do is a free software C cleaner. I use that a lot. I'm going to install that the first thing. And don't pay for it. They might show you ads sometimes to, you know, buy, buy kind of, but I don't really pay it. But it is, the free version is really, really excellent. Um, so yeah, definitely great device. I will recommend it for everybody. Okay, thank you.